Hello viewers, welcome to another video where we are going to solve an issue if your Windows audio endpoint builder is using high CPU. Today I'm going to show you seven methods of how you can solve this problem. So let's start with the first one. So first we will run audio troubleshooter. To run audio troubleshooter, you'll have to go to your Windows settings. After that, you'll have to go to update and security. Then you'll have to find troubleshooter. Here is troubleshoot, then from troubleshoot, you'll have to select additional troubleshooters. Then select playing audio and run the troubleshooter. Now you'll have to select your active audio device, which is the speakers. And as you can see from here, we'll get a solution. Click, okay, we'll disable all the sound effects as it's saying. Then we can play test sounds. And since we heard the sound, we will say, good, the audio driver worked perfectly. And then we will close the troubleshooter. Our second solution is updating the audio driver. In order to do that, you'll have to go to the Windows settings. And then you'll have to go to update and security. And then we'll have to go to Windows update. From here, we'll have to click on view all optional updates and then we'll have to expand our driver updates window. And from here, we'll have to select audio driver update if available. As you can see, I don't have audio driver update available here. If I had an audio driver update available, I would click on it and then download and install it. And if you get an audio driver update there, then you should also click on it and download install to update your audio driver. After the downloading and updating is complete, you'll have to restart your computer. And if these solutions are not working for you, then we'll go to our third solution. Our third solution will be reinstalling the audio driver. In order to reinstall our audio driver, first we'll have to uninstall it. We'll have to take our mouse to the start menu, right click on it and select device manager. At the bottom, you'll find sound, video and games controller. Go to that window and expand it. Then you'll have to find your active audio device. Let's suppose our active audio device is Moondrop Nickel Cake Stereo. Then we'll have to uninstall this device. And after uninstalling, you'll have to restart your computer and it will automatically install that driver again. In order to disable your audio enhancements, you'll have to find the speaker icon on the taskbar, right click on it, then click on sounds. Now open the playback tab now you'll have to choose the one with a green mark. Since we're using speakers at the moment, we'll have to select speakers and go to properties. Then we'll have to go to enhancement tabs and we'll have to disable all the sound effects. Click on it, click on apply, and then press okay. Audio enhancements has been disabled. And if that's not working, try solution pipe preventing apps to take control. In order to do that, again, you'll have to go to sound settings and then playback go to properties of your playback device. Now you will have to go to the advanced tab and then we are going to unmark LR applications to take exclusive control of this device. So unmark it, apply and click OK. And if that's not working, try solution six, which is run DISM and SFC. In order to run DISM and SFC, go to start menu and click CMD. As you can see, we have command prompt here and run this as administrator. After running it as administrator, just simply copy paste these codes. These codes will be provided in the description. Don't forget to copy them from there. You have to copy all the codes. Copy them, paste them and click on enter. Guys, it took a while, but now it's done. Now we'll go to process three. Now we'll copy the third line. Press enter again. Still held. After completing guys, copy and paste the next line. 
Beginning system scan, this process will take some time. After the verification is complete, you should copy the next line and put the command in the command prompt. Okay guys, operation has been complete. Now we're going to copy our fifth line of command and then we're going to paste this command and press enter. Since this one's complete, now we're going to copy the next line and paste it. Next start service done. Okay, G update force. Updating policy. And then we are going to take the final line. And we have a prompt. We're going to click Y because we agreed to the prompt. And then we need to restart our system. But if I restart my system now, the video will stop. So I'm not restarting. Here's the seventh and last solution that you can try. This solution is disabling the service. Press Windows plus R. And then we'll run services.msc. From services, we're going to have to find Windows Audio Endpoint Builder. As you can see, this is Windows Audio Endpoint Builder. You can press W and go to this point directly without scrolling. And then we're, we're going to click on properties here. And on general tab, we're going to change startup type from automatic to disable. And then we're going to stop the service that is running. And then we're going to apply it and click OK. And all these solutions should solve your problem, guys. Thanks for watching, guys. If you found these fixes helpful, please leave a thumbs up. And for more fixes like these, subscribe to our channel.